Okay, here's the result of the cooling curve for paradichlorobenzene or mothballs. Um, so I started it out at a high temperature in which it was all liquid. And uh, you can see the temperature dropped rapidly. It actually super cooled a little bit, it went below its melting point, or freezing point, uh, point, I guess you could say, or crystallization point. And then the temperature stayed fairly constant. And during this period, crystals are being formed from the melt. And that process gives off heat. So it's, it's losing heat to the environment, the, the, the system. And the crystals being formed replenishes that heat. So the temperature stays constant. Now, unfortunately, the, the stirrer stopped stirring because the crystals blocked the stirrer. And so there's, there's a little bit of a drift downward. I don't know. It's not a textbook cooling curve. Usually it drops very suddenly. But <clears throat> it's a fairly dramatic drop after all the crystals have formed from the melt. So this is a good example of uh, uh, a system that melts at a specific temperature, like most crystals, and uh, um, illustrating the, the cooling curve for paradichlorobenzene. Thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.